Hickok 45 here. What's that sound like? AK? <laughs> well, you know, today I didn't have to use my AK, but guess what? I want to use my AK. Let's see if we can use it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I didn't miss that. <laughs> it does shoot a little bit to the right, but uh, no excuse at that range, right? Let's try the red plate over there. Boom. Yeah, let's try a two liter here. Getting it almost too dark to shoot. Is that possible? How about some uh, cinder? Down? Boom. Yeah, really, stick that out. How about a little pot? A little bowling? What's going on? I think it was going through it and not knocking it off. Yeah, I didn't have to use my AK, but here I am with it, right? Uh, I mean, anybody who's ever shot an AK should want to use their AK because they're so cool. They're so cool. This is the Egyptian Mahdi. You've probably seen the first video. I'll link to it. John did it. He told you everything about this rifle. I know nothing about it. I'm not even sure it's an AK. It could be an AR FEMO, but uh, this AK that we've discovered doesn't like brass cases uh, as much as it does steel cases. Uh, we've shot some in it, but it, uh, you know, it just seems to be more reliable, this old AK <laughs> with uh, the old steel case junk. Well, not all of it's junk, but you know, anyway, you know about that. So yeah, this is the Egyptian uh, Mahdi that uh, John uh, shot for you. It's his and it's, it's you know, it's, it's kind of a rough looking AK, but it, uh, as John pointed out, it really is the, one of the closest things you can get to a, an old Russian AK. Because uh, when they started making in Russia the 74s, the AK-74s, they, a lot of the equipment out, they sold it or gave it to Egypt and some of the parts and everything. And so it's, it's just like the, the old AKMs, you know. And uh, this one, looks pretty much like it in every respect the only thing is the muzzle brake is different somebody's put that on there so that's not original but uh this is it's uh, the same outfit uh, as john pointed out they uh, shipped some of these star did in uh you know earlier i think in 1980 and a lot of those were used in uh like movies like uh with uh, red dawn and some of the rambo movies so you've probably seen these on tv and didn't even know it right so uh pretty cool they are a real AK. Uh, as you know, I have struggled with AKs over the years. Uh, well, you didn't see me struggling because I had them before I knew you all. Uh, and I just couldn't adapt to the stocks, the short stocks, you know, and, uh, you know, the Warsaw Pack stocks until you start seeing NATO stocks on them and adjustable stocks. And I know those are kind of ugly. They're not original and all that. But boy, it's just, when you're six, eight, you want your stock to fit a little better. And so it really wasn't until those came along that I became fond of the AK. I always wanted to be really fond of them because I love that cartridge, the 762 by 39. And have, I've really almost been fascinated by it because you all can't relate to this because I'm so much smarter than you are. Pretty funny, huh? No, you all can't relate to this, many of you, some of you can, but when I was into firearms heavily, as you all, some of you are now and I am, in the 70s, I don't think I ever even saw one of these bullets, one of these cartridges, you know? They were like this mythical being because there just were no AKs around. No one sold this ammo. Some of you all might have been, you know, involved in it. I, I, I just, I remember the first time I ever saw one of these and your know, Federal loads it too in this fusion. Uh, I, it was in the 80s sometime, you know? And I had read about it, I'd read articles and everything, and then when I first started seeing it and getting an AK myself, it was just fascinating, you know, because it was, you know, not like a big old 308 or 30 out 6, just a neat little 30 caliber round. And I mean, it's old hat now, so you, know, you wonder what I'm even talking about, right? <laughs> but anyway, I, I've always liked the round and uh, an AK, and I pr prefer it in that round rather than the, uh, the AK-74. But uh, I, as I've mentioned before, I prefer an AR-15 if I'm going with a little, really fast supersonic round. So anyway, this is pretty cool. I just get to shoot it some. Uh, you know, John pretty well filled you in. I will link to this video. And if I forget his video, the first one, uh, you warn me, will you? Sometimes I do forget. And it's a day or two before I uh, get reminded. But I, I usually remember. 
Can I shoot a little bit more? I'm gonna keep this one short. We're about to get a thunderstorm. You wouldn't want to see me get wet, would you? You know, you probably would. And laugh and laugh and laugh. Uh, you know, John took it apart and everything. It's, it's AKs, they just are what they are, aren't they? This one is stamped. And you know, the stamped ones work as well as the milled ones. And, and some of you all are really experts on AKs. I'm not, uh, John and I uh, admit often how we, we just like them. Uh, not necessarily over the AR platform, but we just like them. You know, uh, one thing doesn't have to be better than another, does it? To like it, you know, we got too much of that going on in the world where this is better, everything is black and white, there's no gray area or, or different opinions, it seems like. I like this a lot. I like my AKs a lot, my arsenals. Uh, I have another one coming I've told some of you about. I just like them. I like my ARs. I like my muzzle loaders a great deal, you know, I mean, they're just different. They're just different and they're fun in their own way. And uh, let's, let's shoot a little bit more and then I might make you leave because I don't want you to see me get wet. You'll like, now this does, I was working on the sight, the front sight to move it over a little bit. It's not so far off that you don't know, that you notice it even on larger targets, but it does shoot to the right. I got some paper out and uh, really bench rest a little bit and it was going about, Oh, two to three inches to the right at like 20 yards. That's fairly significant if you're trying to pick anything off. So I find that I have to remember that uh, across the hill. You know, and I also adjusted that rear side a little bit. I might not be able to hit anything over there. Let's try it. All right. Good old AK-47. I love it. Got the one in the middle. Too low, I think. Plus, I can't see the sight. Let me try the big square one again. I'm gonna have to get that sight adjusted before I pick off any flies at that distance. <laughs> That's for sure. Let me try the uh, bowling pins here. How about that one that needs to be knocked off? There we go. Got to remember to hold left a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hit the target. I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, I mean, I might prove myself wrong. I'm going to see the A and AK there at the top. I'm going to try to hold right on that A. Right on it. Okay, that's so close you really can't tell. Now obviously it's going to shoot low because of the sight and the bore alignment. But it is just a hair to the right even at five yards. So we'll work on it for you. How's that? Let's, uh, let's shoot the burn barrel a little bit. That's a pretty nice trigger. It really does. Yeah, an AK is an interesting firearm. <laughs> I think because it's such an iconic, one thing that makes it interesting, of course, I can just ramble in this video because I'm only going to do shoot, but uh, you know, I may have shot enough, but uh, it's because it is, I mean, look at that, you know, it's, uh, it's just an iconic piece of equipment, and how many million of them is it, I forget, is it, there's estimated, what, 50 million, 100 million, I mean, the numbers of them on the planet is just incredible. And most of them tend to work really reliably, don't they? Uh, some are a little better than others, have better cosmetics than others. Some are made better than others, but even, even the mediocre ones, uh, they just have a reputation for, for working and being reliable. I still keep mine clean. I still clean them. I, you know, I can do all firearms. I don't want them to rust or get corroded in there and, and then have to need it, you know? Uh, but uh, they're, they're just wonderful guns. Let me take just a couple more shots and I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna make you go, how's that? Uh, if you ever hear, look, if you're ever sleeping and you hear this sound, eh, it's not a good thing, unless it's somebody in your house <laughs> that's guarding the place for you, okay? I right, just take a couple more, okay? I'm not gonna shoot the whole magazine, I just wanna fire a couple. 
and uh, yeah this is pretty cool John really likes this and it is a nice one it is a nice one there's something to be said for one like this that is uh, you know like I say it's uh, it's like the AKM the Russian is about as much as you can find that's why I guess it was used in the movies especially and uh, you know it's kind of rough and everything but it's just very authentic you know realistic other than not having the fun switch on it right and uh, so that's kind of cool and it, in keeping with what I was discussing earlier, I like these, but I also like my arsenals that are, uh, they're, the finish is a little better maybe, and uh, you know, they fit perfectly and all that kind of thing. So yeah, this stock is just a little short for me. You can imagine if uh, you have shoulder an AK and fired one, you have eight of them or whatever, with these short stocks, the Warsaw Pack stocks, uh, in your average size, you're a normal human, unlike me and they feel just fine to you, well, you can imagine how they probably, you know, feel to me. Uh, not not good for getting my eyes on that sight. And also, I, I change out on my arsenals. Any one AK that I'm going to shoot very much, I love to have a peep sight back here. So I got a Krebs peep on mine. That's the only thing I changed on them. And unless it's a historical firearm, I would do that on basically any AK that I'm going to shoot much. So, all right, let's take a couple more shots and let you get out of here okay and there's not a lot left to shoot let me uh put a couple on the target and a couple on that square over there because i should be able to hit those let's go over there yeah. that's uh that's all the accuracy generally you need out of an AK so pretty cool and uh, if uh, you have an AK share your stories share your love stories <laughs> with your AK <laughs> I won't put that back in there it looks better with it in but I won't put it back in but uh, many of you have uh, AKs and you ask us about them all the time and I have to admit that I'm not an expert on them I took the easy way out I've told many of you years ago and just went ahead with arsenal because i you know it's a it's a jungle out there trying to decide which ak is uh, the best value and which ones are recommended and all that sort of thing it's just different than the ar world in, in a lot of ways the good news is most of them you know work okay but uh anyway john's egyptian maudi is uh pretty authentic for an AK and uh, you might have one tell us what you think you got any trouble with it is it reliable pretty funny huh I hope it's funny I never had an AK that was unreliable there's probably one out there somewhere so anyway glad you all came out and we appreciate you supporting the people that support us uh, you know we just really really appreciate it and we'll probably be back you know bothering you on your computer screen now, again life is good oh, all right. It's a long walk from where I had to shoot that. Oh man. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Since you're here, I want to let you know about our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. TalonGunGrips.com. Check out everything they have over there. You can get lots of different grips, the stick-on grip textures for your handguns and rifle grips. So go check them out. Also Ballastall. They're a firearms lubricant or anything else you might need lubricating. Uh, it's water soluble and non-toxic. Been using it on the compound and cleaning all of our guns. It's a cleaner and a lube for over 10 years. So Ballastol, Talon Grips, definitely check both of those companies out. And also, while you're on the internet, don't forget to go to Hickok45.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Hickok45, Twitter, Hickok45, Instagram, The Real Hickok45. And also, I have an Instagram page where I post behind the scenes stuff and different things like that. John, J-O-H-N underscore H-I-C-K-O-K-4-5 on Instagram. And uh, the next thing you have to do is watch more videos.